There has been a lot of speculation about whether Israel would go it alone, would attack Iran all on its own. What does Mayor Dagan say about that? Well, he, he thinks it's a mistake generally to make it an Israeli-Iranian issue. And what he really would like to happen is Israel sits back and the Americans do it for the Israelis. World War Three. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Small to Jannah. <laughs> All right, love, you guys have requested this and I can honestly appreciate why. Heartbreak in the upper ranks of the Iranian military at the official announcement of the death of Major General Qasem Soleimani. For Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Soleimani was a trusted confidant, a member of his inner circle, and he warned there will be revenge. Friday morning, I'm sure most people are minding their own business, and then boom on Twitter World War 3 starts trending Iran starts trending first of all some of you guys watching you probably don't even know the significance of Iran in the first place it's a land where the three wise men from the Christian story of Jesus came from it's a land where the democratically elected leader was removed by the UK and the US in 1953 and was replaced by a tyrant all because the guy just wanted to nationalize the oil okay now let's look at the facts yeah compare the US with Iran now and see who the aggressor looks like if you put them both side to side first of all here's the countries that they have interfered bombed in the last 60 years as you can see the US is coming out looking quite bad here is another statistic about the military expenditure of both nations and here of course is the amount of military bases that are surrounding Iran. If you were of course to flip this how bad would it look if Iran did the same thing around the US and not to mention Iran had a nuclear agreement with Obama this was endorsed by the UN and of course other nations as well when Trump came into power he voided that nuclear agreement why I mean according to experts Iran hadn't violated anything but on top of that sanctions were put on the country which is just fancy for one year ago today US sanctions against Iran over its nuclear program were reintroduced that means the US punish everyone who trades with Iran which forces the country to go down economically and because the people of any country are you know not quite intelligent if their day-to-day -day matters are affected they get cheesed off by the government so the US was hoping that if they were putting enough pressure on Iran then one of two things would happen either the own people would revolt against the leadership or the government would be forced to come back on the um, agreement table and accept unfair conditions okay so why has the US attacked them the main reason that they've said is this guy Soleimani was a bad guy but you know the intelligent from amongst us will say well there's plenty of bad guys in India and there's also bad guys in China does that mean you're gonna get involved in those countries of course not Trump of course said that we took action last night to stop a war we did not take action to start a war you don't go to somebody punch them in the face and say whoa I did that to avoid a fight between us yeah and considering this guy is the second most influential person in Iran and here is a prominent place in Iran and those guys are now lifting this flag and this flag indicates revenge now of course Iran has promised revenge but the US <laughs> knowing this has threatened Iran again and said hey if you try to retaliate we've got 52 of your sites in our vision and we're gonna you know sort them out as well all right so we know what the reasons are not the media is clearly going to be pushing its rhetoric I mean here's a tweet from one of their main guys somehow making the link to 9-11 don't try it boy what could the reasons be 
Well, about 10 days after 9-11, I went through the Pentagon and I saw Secretary Rumsfeld and, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. Another reason is Saudi clearly wants to destabilize Iran because the influence, the growing influence of Iran and Saudi doesn't want that. Israel, of course, wants destabilization there as well. And everything should be done to prevent Iran, the world's most dangerous regime. Straight after the attack took place, lo and behold, the only one to publicly show their support to the US was Israel. And not to mention they were given advance notice of the attack as well. And also on the 10th of November 2019, here was the headline. Yes, it's our friend Mr. Oil again. Yes! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Ah! Yes! Oh, yeah. And another reason that experts have said is there is impending impeachment and an election coming up. And naturally, if they interfere with Iran, the leader will be made to look in control and powerful and useful. And in Trump's own words, when Obama in 2011, when he had a beef with Obama, that's exactly what he was saying. Our president will start a war with Iran because he has absolutely no ability to negotiate. He's weak and he's ineffective. We have a real problem in the White House. So I believe that he will attack Iran sometime prior to the election because he thinks that's the only way he can get elected. Isn't it pathetic? <laughs> and not to mention, of course, Trump knows the conservative Christians are going to be behind him. Obama sent them cash. President Trump turned them into ash. Trump, his name is Donald Hitman Trump. <laughs> the the terrorist killer. <laughs> It's not happening. You're not about to run us over and kill our people and get away with it. No, Trump is not Obama. This man kills terrorists in his sleep. If he just makes it out to be some Christian thing and how God is on their side. And I really do believe we have God on our side. I believe that. I believe that. So what is next? Well, if Iran retaliates, it's going to retaliate on the US military bases. Now there are certain military bases in Arab countries as well. And if attack happens in an Arab country, then it will cause infighting between the Muslims. And of course, there's that famous age old principle, divide and conquer yet again. The US is clearly very far away. So the people that are bound to suffer are those that are close by. Israel is of course on peak physical condition. So if any problem goes down, Israel is going to do its thing. And there is a chance experts are saying of expenditure as well. There are going to be, of course, two main camps that are going to form China, Russia and Iran in one camp. You've got the UK, US and other nations in the other camp. Then you're going to have certain countries that are pulled in the middle. Yeah, like you've got Turkey, you've got Pakistan. So yeah, it is not looking too good frankly. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Let me know in the comments what you guys have uh, found out and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.